Welcome to the IOPTRON Q Pro instructional video. We will be demonstrating how to set up and use the mount. The default Q Pro set will include these parts a power adapter, an RS232 cable for connection with a computer and firmware updates, the main Q Pro mount, a hand controller, a counterweight kit, and the tripod. First, set up the tripod according to the instructions as shown here. Then, attach the Q Pro mount to the tripod. When the mount is set up, make sure this arrow points towards the self. To make sure the mount is properly level, make sure the bubble in this indicator is centered in a circle when adjusting the mount's leveling. On this side of the mount, you will find a power port, a power switch, and two HBX ports, which can both be used for a hand controller. Next, plug in the power adapter. Then, plug in the hand controller to either of the HBX ports. The hand controller can be hung on the mount as shown here, when not in use. The mount is now fully functional. The Q Pro can also be battery powered. The battery system uses a pack for 8 AA batteries, as seen here. Make sure the battery pack is placed correctly and securely. Use the dovetail saddle on the mount to attach a scope. Finally, make sure the mount is set up in the zero position, which means the mount is properly level to the ground and oriented southward, and has the scope facing directly upward, as shown here. Before using a mount, you will want to make sure the zero position is properly programmed. After manually adjusting the mount to match the zero position, simply select zero position on the hand controller and then choose set zero position. Before using a mount, you will want to set up the hand controller. Simply go to settings in the hand controller, then select and adjust any of the options as seen here. The first option that should be set is time and sight, which is used to set time zone and daylight savings time. On GPS mounts such as the Q Pro, the GPS will automatically acquire location and time info. You can also set other options, such as the mount's beep volume, or the hand controller display and keys, which can set display contrast, display brightness, or key brightness. One critical setting that must be addressed is whether the mount is in out azimuth mode or equatorial mode. For our purposes, we want the mount to be set up in out azimuth mode. Select the settings option and scroll to the bottom of the list. Here, we see the option enter out azimuth mode. This means the mount is currently in equatorial mode and must be switched into out azimuth mode. Simply select this option and press enter. You will then be prompted to restart the mount. After restarting, the mount will now be in out azimuth mode. To set the mount to equatorial mode, simply perform the same steps again, with the option now saying enter EQ mode. The Q Pro is equipped with a GPS system. The GPS system should automatically turn on with the mount. The word on should be visible in the top right corner when the GPS is active and searching for a satellite. Once the GPS is locked, the word on should be replaced with OK. 
The next critical setting is the one star alignment. This is used to calibrate and ensure accurate tracking and the zero position. Select one star alignment and choose any star. Then use the sync to target function, which allows you to use the arrow keys to adjust the scope to make sure the target is visible and that the mount is properly synced and calibrated. Next, we will use the slew to target function. Select slew to target on the hand controller. You can then select a wide variety of objects under different categories, such as the solar system, deep sky objects, stars, comets, asteroids, and constellations. Sync to target can also be used here, equivalent to one star alignment. Note the horizon indicator when selecting a target. The mount will only be allowed to slew to a target if the target is currently above the horizon. After use, the mount should be returned to the zero position. Simply select zero position in the options and choose go to zero position. Next, we will demonstrate a dual telescope setup. You will be using an optional second dovetail and mounting ring. First, remove the altitude locking knob. Then, attach the optional mounting ring to this side of the mount. Then, place the dovetail on the mounting ring and tighten the screws to secure. You will now be able to mount two telescopes to the mount. Next, we will demonstrate an optional camera setup. Here, you will be using the optional mounting ring and an optional ball head. Assemble the ball head with its mounting block and attach it to the mounting ring, similar to the optional dovetail. Then, mount a camera to the ball head and make sure it is secured facing directly upward, though it can be independently adjusted to face any direction using the ball head. The camera setup is now complete. Next, we will demonstrate the counterweight kit, which is included with the mount and should be used for larger and heavier telescopes. First, attach the counterweight rod to the opposite side of the mount. Make sure it is secured very tightly. It is advised to turn with the end of the counterweight handle to ensure maximum tightness. Then attach the weight to the counterweight rod. Make sure it is tightened securely. In order to properly judge the best and most balanced position for the counterweight, you will need to perform the following steps. First, loosen the mounting system with a telescope on. Then, ensure the telescope itself is balanced by adjusting it on the dovetail until it can remain parallel to the ground without any assistance. Then, return the telescope to the zero position and attach the counterweight. Then, Lower one of the tripod's legs, as seen here. Loosen the tripod mounting knob slightly, just slightly, so that the mount can turn freely but without falling off. If the system is not properly balanced, then the mount will swing from its correct position. Adjust the counterweight so that the mount can remain in this position without any assistance. Then retighten the mount to the tripod and return the tripod to a level position. Now, we will demonstrate an equatorial setup. First, set up the mount in EQ mode, as demonstrated earlier. 
you will be using an optional alt azimuth base for the mount. First, remove the dovetail from the alt azimuth base, then attach the dovetail to the bottom of the mount. Attach the alt azimuth base to the tripod. Then attach the cube probe mount to the base using a dovetail. Then attach a telescope to the mount and attach the counterweight kit to the other side. Next, set up the zero position, which means that the telescope is pointing towards Polaris. Adjust the altitude using the altitude knob shown here. Then adjust the azimuth using the two azimuth knobs. Sync and calibrate the mount as needed. The equatorial setup is now complete. This concludes the instructional video. We hope you enjoy stargazing with the Cube Pro.